New York. This is on our Republican line. Kelly, good morning. Good morning. Something that continues to impact our national security policy, of course, is 9-11. And uh, the National Institute of Standards and Technology claims that fire caused the complete destruction of the World Trade Center Building 7 on 9-11, but has admitted that the building was in free fall acceleration for at least 100 feet, which means it was meeting no resistance for roughly about eight stories. So using your common sense, how is that possible without the use of free planted explosives? So what does that mean for the common day situation of the Boston bombings, ma'am? Because so they're all connected. Okay, we'll leave it there. Well, there, there is a, a theory that um, the bombs were planted, that 9-11 was um, a government conspiracy. I don't believe that. Mike, Newport, Kentucky, Democrat. You're on with Senator Tammy Baldwin. Thank you for taking my call. I have just a couple quick statements and then a question. Uh, an awful lot of money has been spent fighting the post-9-11 wars, and yet taxpayers still have many unanswered questions about this event. Uh, despite the fact that an international team of scientists published in the peer-reviewed journal, uh, the Bentham Open Chemical Physics Journal, proving the existence of nanothermite found in the dust. Okay, from tell the you World what, we, we, got, we got where you're going on that first question. What's your next question, Mike? standards and technology, the agency tasked with investigating why these three buildings failed. Hey, building Mike, do, do you have a follow-up question? We understand where you're going on that first issue. Samples. Okay, what? you know what? We're, we'll see what the senator has to say about that. 9-11's conspiracy theories and different ways of looking at 9-11. What are your thoughts? You know, um, the uh, report that I go by is the 9-11 Commission. Vernon, New York, good morning. Hi, thank you. Sure. Um, National Institute of Standards and Technology acknowledged that the World Trade Center Building 7 fell at free fall acceleration for over 100 feet on 9-11, which means it was meeting no resistance for eight stories. So sparing me a diatribe about conspiracy theories, can you please give me a straight answer on how you think that's scientifically possible without the use of explosives? Look, I think we should pass on this question. If you want to tell me that there's something going on beyond two planes going into buildings, I never saw anything that suggested it. That was the most investigated event probably in FBI investigative history. So I've heard this comment that, you know, you'd need explosives inside the buildings to bring them down. I just, you know, I don't want to spend time on this question. I don't think it's valid. Thank you. And I agree. We've had that question posed many yep. times before. Hopefully uh, that will be the end of it. Uh, Robert is next. We take them all here. Bring them on. <laughs> no, we're happy to take the questions. That's That's been coming up for the last 10 or 12 yeah, years. Yeah, and fine. well, you've been hearing the conspiracy theories uh, on this for many years as well. And sometimes you have to scratch your head. Well, I'll go down to the coffee shop on Cooper Street here in, in uh, Memphis afterward. And hopefully nobody will notice I was on the show so I can have a cup of coffee and forget about the conspiracies. <laughs> We want to get you involved. We're going to begin with a call from David in Joppa, Maryland, on our Democrats line. Hi, David. Thanks so much. The threats to the Associated Press are only the latest example of our loss of civil liberties. Congress's refusal to discuss how two planes can bring down three towers on 9-11 is an example of self-censorship. What could, harm could any person in Congress find in supporting a new investigation into what really brought down World Trade Center's Building 7? Any response for that caller, Representative Bass? Well, I don't know that we would need another investigation into 9-11. Now, now, granted, this was before my time in Congress, but I know that there was an entire commission that looked into that. So I'm not really sure uh, what the outcome would be if we had another investigation for 9-11. Next is Shannon from Rome, New York, Independent Line. Uh, yes, uh, a 9-11 World Trade Center Building 7 wasn't hit by an airplane, but it did fall straight down symmetrically like a typical controlled demolition. Fires never caused a steel frame high-rise to do that before or after 9-11. So caller, asking, caller, caller, this is the, uh, about the IRS. If, uh, if that's the topic you want to talk on, go ahead. It's all related. We'll hear from Joe next. Let's go to the phones and hear from Laura in Orange Park, Florida, Democrats line. Hi, Laura. Hi. Um, now that journalists find themselves the target of an increasingly Orwellian government, are you afraid that more of them might retaliate by speaking out about Building 7 and the explosive nanothermite residue found in the World Trade Center dust? Uh, World yeah. Trade Center. No, I think the World Trade Center was attacked by jihadists and who unfortunately succeeded in killing 3,000 Americans. 
You're a journalist. Uh, let's go to John in Livingston, New Jersey, who's a Republican. Hi, John. Yeah, good morning, Bill. Listen, since morning. you're in the media, I wanted your insight on something. Given that more and more people have stopped trusting the government and corporate media now, what can the establishment do to keep people from Googling Building 7 and realizing the buildings in New York were brought down in a pre-planned controlled demolition on 9 John, we've already addressed this issue, so we'll move on. We already got uh, Bill Crystal's thoughts on that. Let's go to Gary. Get to them, Christine right. in uh, New Jersey, Democratic caller. Christine, what's the name of your town? Oh, uh, Lake Apacon, New okay. Jersey. Okay, all right, go ahead. Good morning. Um, well, I wanted to ask, in light of the current distrust of the government with all the scandals going on, don't you think it would be a good idea to get to the bottom of people's concerns about what really happened on I-11 with Building 7, with over 1,900 architects and engineers disputing the official story? Are you talking about 9-11-2001? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, there's like uh, 1,900 architects and engineers disputing the official story because it's you know, needs to be investigated further. And Christine, where where do you read about this? Where are you getting this information? There, it's all over the place, and lots of people are talking. I don't hear it in the mainstream media, but I hear it um, online. There's lots of people talking about it. Okay, all right. And Greg is a Republican in Kansas City, Missouri. Greg, you're on the air. Morning. Hi. Um, good morning. You've called for an investigation into the um, IRS scandal. And as bad as that scandal is... The Nobody has died from it. But people did die on 9-11, and countless members of Congress have been delivered a peer-reviewed paper proving the existence of explosive nanothermite residue in the World Trade Center dust. Craig, Why is Craig, this we, got the point, we got the point, but when it comes to the IRS issue, have you called for an investigation? We certainly that? have. We have a Texan on the line already, so let's go to William in Houston, Independent. Hi, William. Yes, thanks for having me. Building 7 was in free fall for over 100 feet when it was destroyed on 9-11, meeting no resistance for eight, for eight stories as it went down. Given this fact, why hasn't Congress forced the National Institute of Standard and Technology to legitimately explore the possibility that explosives may have been used? William, we'll get a response from the congressman from that issue, but what do you think about immigration reform? You're in Houston. Well, my question was about the uh, Building 7 and 9-11. I know, but what I'm asking you about what you think about immigration reform. We'll move on to that in just a minute. Well, immigration reform would start with labor reform. Right now, we have a system that condones illegal immigration. But uh, back to my original question, please. Well, let, let me go back to the immigration reform since we're on that particular topic. It was not the wake-up call, uh, frankly, that a lot of people thought it should be. Let's go to Cheryl, New York. Pat is a Republican. Pat, good morning. Good morning, Libby. I have a question. I am concerned about our bridges and all of our infrastructure in general. But what I'm mostly concerned about, and I have a question for you, would you please answer it for me? What's the question? My question is that I watch this stand every morning faithfully, and I hear different callers call in periodically about the 9-11 Building 7, and I'm wondering why does this stand have a policy of not wanting to answer any of these questions? Because when a person mentions this, you either call them some conspiracy person or else you deflect them with a different question so that the guest doesn't have to answer. And I'm wondering why, is this a policy she stand here? No, Pat, it's not a policy at all. And uh, sometimes we try to stay on topic if we have someone on talking about a specific thing. Uh, but it's not a policy, and we want to invite all conversation topics. Sometimes callers call in and tell our screener they're going to talk about one thing, then they talk about something else when they get on the air. Uh, but we welcome your opinions and thoughts. Did you have any questions or comments for James Corliss this morning? Well, in terms of the bridges collapsing, like the one you cited about Minnesota, there was Building 7 that collapsed without a plane even hitting it. And I think many families and um, supporters of trying to get into investigation about why this building would just suddenly collapse, I wonder why no one will answer these questions for these people. 
Well, and we have actually had, had people answer those questions on this program before. James Corral, so did you want to weigh in on that at all? Is there anything that relates to, to infrastructure that, that you can uh, comment on? I'll, I'll tell you what, and I certainly would, uh, I don't know enough certainly about the exactly what happened on the site, but another tragedy uh, just last fall was, was Superstorm Sandy. And Congressman Chris Smith, Republican of New Jersey. He's in his 17th term yeah. and represents uh, the 4th District of the state of New Jersey. Uh, let's go to a Floridian. James is in Hope Sound, Republican. Hi. Hi. Uh, good morning. Morning. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Uh, uh, good morning, Congressman morning. Smith. Yeah, uh, I'm a retired Marine engineer, and prior to that, I worked in the construction industry. And I can tell you that from the symmetrical fall of Building 7 on 911 and its free fall, that explosives were used to bring it down. My question, Congressman, I'd like to know why you and the rest of Congress aren't listening to the thousands of architects and engineers calling for a new investigation of its destruction. Of which destruction? I missed a little bit of that. I'm sorry. Building 7, 911. The World Trade Center. Yeah, of course, fall. of course. Um, it's um, a question that's been asked many times. I do believe that there's been, uh, you know, a number of efforts to investigate. The 9-11 Commission, which I pushed very hard, looked at virtually every aspect of uh, the terrible tragedy of 9-11. They looked at virtually every aspect of it, but there's always remaining questions, and I, I think your, remaining, your question, you know, needs further answer. How do you get that further answer, then? Well, I think, you know, Probably more investigations on the part of maybe not government, but on um, you know think tanks could be looking at it. Um, again, the 9/11 investigation was one of the most uh, comprehensive that I have ever seen because people were always on the to the point of almost being shocked how quickly um, it it imploded. Do you have any doubt of the cause of September 11th? No, I have none whatsoever. Matter of fact, I remember I was uh, actually in Bethlehem. And I spoke to a group of students uh, who questioned and actually blamed it on the Israelis, which is theater of the absurd. Uh, and they said, no Jews died in 9-11. And I said, hope, time out. I know several widows of Jewish men who died in 9-11. Uh, there were people of every faith or the, and those of none uh, who were in the Twin Towers. Innocent people were slaughtered. It was an act of terrorism, the likes of which we hadn't seen since Pearl Harbor in terms of magnitude. And um, uh, so there's no doubt as to who the culprits were. Uh, and I think, you know, it, there, there will always be conspiracy theories, always about everything, I guess, including that. But um, I think we've done a good job as a government on that one. All right, let's hear from John in Loveland, Colorado. Democratic caller, thanks for hanging on the line, John. Go ahead. You're welcome. I'm a retired police officer. After 9-11, this refused to test its World Trade Center dust samples for the presence of explosives that may have helped bring the buildings down. And John, and John, I'm going to interrupt you. What does that have to do with our conversation? One minute, man. Despite the fact that independent scientists found that nano thermite residue in their own World Trade Center. All right. All right. Well, we're talking about uh, the NSA surveillance program, so I'm going to move on. Adam in Steubenville, Ohio, Republican caller. Go ahead, Adam. Hi. Uh, NIST admits that World Trade Center Building 7, which wasn't hit by a plane, was in a free fall for over 100 feet when it fell on 9-11, meaning it met no resistance for eight stories. So why isn't the FAS calling for a new investigation? All right, Adam, we're a concerted effort here from uh, some callers to call in and talk about this topic. We've addressed it uh, many times here on the Washington General. He's a graduate of Harvard. He's a Rhodes Scholar. And he worked for Goldman Sachs for several years before coming over to Congress, getting elected to Congress. And the first call from him comes from North Carolina. Whitney's in Raleigh. Democrat. Hi, Whitney. Whitney? Uh, hi. Please go ahead. All right. The NSA spying on Americans has been whispered out for years, but it took a brave whistleblower to give up his normal life to make politicians and the media acknowledge it. My question for you is, is Congress going to wait for someone else to give up his life before you acknowledge that only explosives could have brought down World Trade Center Building 7 on 9-11? Well, let's go to the, uh, her referring to um, Mr. Snowden as a whistleblower. Do you agree? Let's, let's do that, Peter. Um, as somebody who was at the uh, site of 9-11, I, I uh, am really troubled about, you know, some of the allegations that are, I think, out there on the extreme. But look, um, the definition of, w of whistleblower is somebody who is blowing the... Clay in Jacksonville, Florida, on our Republican line, you're first up. Hi. Uh, since the government's willing to deceive Americans on this 
NSA issue, why couldn't the same be true about what really brought down Building 7 on 9-11 since there's overwhelming evidence that explosives were used to bring it down? Um, yeah. you, you don't need to comment on that if you don't want to. You're more than welcome to, of course. But do you feel that the NSA has to see... No. Andy is next. Clinton, New York, Democrats line. Welcome to the program. Thank you. An object of free fall can't do work as such as the crushing the columns below it. This is basic physics. Given that NIST is admitted to Building 7 free fall on 9-11, why didn't the FBI or DOJ try to find out who placed explosives throughout that highly secure building? Okay, I'm, I'm going to put this on the table. We've had three or four calls on this. <laughs> in your mind, was anyone outside of the terrorists involved in what happened at the World Trade Center or at the Pentagon? No, full stop. If the government were involved, we would know about it by now. We continue to get calls, though, and we welcome the conversation, but yet to have any proof that there were outside forces involved in what happened. None whatsoever. New York, New York. Alex, Democratic caller. Hi. Hi. Thanks for taking my call, and I really appreciate that you're encouraging the healthy skepticism um, that, that um, is really important for democracy. I wanted to ask you about um, spying and the enormous expense of war and security. All these, of course, are, are motivated by 9-11. And if you've read the NIST reports, as I have, then you know that we've given up our civil liberties, even though the government never explained how the towers came down the way they did and never tested for explosives. And you know that Building 7, a high-rise... Alex, by a Alex I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you there and ask you a question. We're, we've been getting a lot of calls lately on this show from people who believe that 9-11 uh, was... Um, there's like a, a theory that it was an, an inside job. Uh, is this, are you part of a, a group or an effort that's trying to get this on the show? Well, actually, I've, I've read um, in Homeland Security training brochures that 9-11 truth activists are potential terrorists. And I guess that means that my email records are among those that the government feels it can read and review. And I suppose that under the NDA, I could be indefinitely detained. And that has me concerned. Well, Alex, can you answer my question about if this is a group effort? Are you part of an organization or anything? I'm, I'm an American citizen. Pamela joining us from Tallahassee. Republican <clears throat> line, good morning. Hey, James, this is Pamela. Um, I really appreciated what you just said, that we have to negotiate and that we don't go in to destroy nations. Um, so here's my question for you, James. How will the U.S. government claim the moral authority it needs to help it win wars now that more and more people are waking up to the scientific evidence proving that Twin Towers and Building 7 were brought down in a pre-planned controlled demolition on 9-11? Um, I happen to have, before I going on this career path, my office was on the 82nd floor of the World Trade Center, and I believe there's absolutely no evidence that the United States government had anything to do with uh, the taking down of the towers on the World Trade Center, and uh, you know, I, I honestly don't even want to answer the question. I think that's so far out of bounds on what's true and real is to be ridiculous. I'm sorry. John, Jacksonville, Florida, Democrats line. Your phone calls. John is joining us from Youngstown, Florida, Republican line. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my question is, since the Italian Supreme Court president, Fernando Imposamato, has called for a criminal investigation of 911 and agrees with the scientific evidence that explosives must have been used to bring down the buildings in New York, would the EU be open to conducting its own new 911 investigation? Hey, John, before we get a response, we had an earlier caller on this, and we know that there is a concerted effort to... Uh, to flood the airwaves with these calls. Uh, we ask that you go to another network or another place. Uh, we've heard oh, from please you in don't inter Please don't interrupt me. I, I am going to interrupt you because it's off topic, and we've had a number of people calling in. We had a caller earlier this morning with the same point who basically disputed everything that is uh, being called on this uh, question, but you and others continue to call in, so we ask that you choose another network or another venue. We've made the comment earlier. You're certainly welcome to respond as well, but we ask that you take your calls somewhere else. I have no comments on that. We ask that you take your calls somewhere else. We 
ask you take your calls somewhere else. 